Hey, Uncle Hotties, how are y'all doing? I hope each and one of y'all are having a blessed day. So, I was doing y'all's pulling your cards, Aquarius, and my sink counter was wet. So, I had got some of my, this deck is kind of wet right now. So, I can't use this one, but that's okay. But anyways, I just want to say, hey, y'all, how's it going, Aquarius? I have already pulled your Monday and Tuesday. I haven't pulled the rest of it. I was like, you know what? Because I was, I was cleaning during the video. So I was like, you know, maybe not. All right. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm your girl, Hogger Tarot Shea. Thank y'all for being here and joining me. I'm going to try this thing again. All right. I had to wipe off the counter because it was wet at the top for me washing my dishes, doing Sunday cleaning or whatever. But, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and finish, okay? So, Spirit, what else do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius is for November 13th on a Wednesday, for Aquarius November 14th on a Thursday, and November 15th on a Friday for Aquarius. Thank you so much, Spirit, for the messages to come. All right, just making sure we got a clean, clear space. All right, Aquarius, I hope you all had a beautiful weekend this far. I hope that y'all are doing good out there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's coming out. I didn't turn over the cards, so we're going to see. All right, so started with November 11th on a Monday. It says, riding past your place to make sure you're home. Okay, Aquarius, so y'all got somebody who is still in trying to be in tune with you, trying to see what you got going on, how you doing, okay? They're trying to put two and two together, all right? So you got somebody riding past your place, Aquarius, to make sure you're home, Okay? Your person is riding past your place to make sure you're home. Y'all want to see why. I don't know if it's to see you. I don't know if it's to make sure you're home. Maybe they... I don't know. We want to see what's going on. So, Spirit, help me clarify the situation for Aquarius is how it's good. So, November 11th on a Monday for Aquarius. It says, riding past Aquarius's place to make sure Aquarius is home. Yeah, because some of you maybe have them blocked still. Maybe like, damn, you, Aquarius still got me blocked. Aquarius still ain't got nothing to say. Aquarius still moving on without me, okay? One more. November 11th on a Monday. Riding past Aquarius' house to make sure Aquarius is home. Yeah, this is somebody here who I feel like they are very inconsiderate of your feelings, whoever this is. Maybe they know you don't want to be bothered, but they still going to try to come up, come around, come over, be close to you. By any means necessary, they, they want, it's like somebody here wants to disturb your peace. It's like they want you to know, like they don't want you to forget about them, Aquarius. That's what it is. And it's like, duh, you, how could I forget about you? You know, like you done gave me so much bullshit. I, you, you made me not want to deal with certain things and certain people. So this is somebody here who I feel like wants to have you. Like they, they could be a, like very infatuated with you. They want more of you. By any means necessary, they're going to try to still come around and be try to be in your bubble, be in your space. Be close to you. Even if you tell this person, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't got nothing to say. But they like, uh-uh. But I want you, Aquarius. I want you. Some of you, they feel like if they come over and put it on you real good, that you're going to change your mind about them. All okay, right, Aquarius. Y'all got a little a little stalker, okay? That's what it's giving me, a little stalker. Somebody who who's obsessed and won't let go. Feeling like they must have you. Got to see you. Got to be around you. So let's see, November 11th on a Monday for Aquarius Spirit. Help me clarify these messages for Aquarius is how it's good. Thank you so much. Yeah, somebody here is having a hard time carrying this burden that you no longer want to deal with them. So I feel like they're going to be trying to come to your place. This is very specific. Come to your place to try to see what you got going on, okay? November 11th on a Monday. Riding past Aquarius's place to make sure Aquarius is home. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, because you are coming out as somebody, it could be a Virgo, you're coming out as somebody who's very strong-minded, you're very independent, okay, you don't need them, you're very self-sufficient, and I feel like because you're doing, you're, they know you're doing good without them, Ten of swords, okay, it's giving somebody who I feel like, feel like they failed a good relationship, a good connection, a good person, all right, why is this person riding past Aquarius' house to make sure Aquarius is home, November 11th on a Monday, some of you, they want a new beginning here with you. They're coming in to see what you're doing, but they are coming in very careless. So it's like, for some of you, they maybe feel like, what well, they're trying to see what maybe your home looking like. You know, maybe if you're getting ready for the holidays. Okay, somebody here, I feel like they, they've been, this has been a plan all along with the Knight of Pentacles. They, they've been planning to come towards you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be an Aries. 
okay? But I feel like this person wants to come towards you. One more. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. This is um could be a Capricorn. We got the, the devil in reverse. So this time with somebody here is they're riding past your place because they feel like you're detached from them. Okay. They feel like you're detaching, you're freeing yourself, and I feel like they're trying to find some type of control. Okay. Trying to find some control, yeah, after this ending, because you have been on their mind consistently. Okay, you stay on this person's mind, Aquarius. Somebody here also is attaching from maybe something that was very toxic or for something that was used to get them out of maybe attachments, third party attachments, maybe having some type of like uh, b bad thoughts in their mind. They're, they're detaching from that, and I feel like they want to be close to you. Some of you, you bring this person peace. You, you in a way, Aquarius, can be home to this person. It's nothing like you. Okay, search the world, mess around with a few, but it's nothing like Aquarius' love. It's nothing like Aquarius' vibe, okay? You're so sweet, you're so kind. Somebody here may want to come, just want to hug you and kiss on you, okay? They just they just need that, that feeling. You give them a good feeling, Aquarius. All right, let's move on to November 12th on a Tuesday. Seeing you move on really hurts. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is no longer the center of your universe, Aquarius, okay? You're not as stuck as you used to be. And that can be a very, very good feeling for you. And like, you know what? I spent this whole year giving this person the benefit of the doubt. I let them come back around, in and out, whatever. And this person still ain't changed. But seeing you move on, Aquarius, that hurts this person. This is my here who I feel like they got, like I said, they, they were out here catching thrills, making bad decisions. Okay, somebody here who had addictions, and now they want to talk to you. Now they're hoping to heal this connection. November 12th on a Tuesday. Seeing Aquarius move on really hurts. Yep. Somebody here may be, like, trying to get some type of, like, hearing rumors or gossip about you, being nosy. Seeing Aquarius. Seeing Aquarius move on really hurts. Yeah. Told you. This is a whole burden for them. What are these rumors, gossip, being nosy? Because they, cause they, they see you being happy without them. Somebody here is watching our social media accounts and they see you doing happy without them. It's like you're, you're smiling again. You're having fun again. You're living your life, Aquarius. And they're like, damn, I've really lost my Aquarius. My Aquarius really ain't fucking with me no more. Like, I done, I done, I done did it all. November 12th on a Tuesday. Seeing Aquarius move on really hurts. This person feels a little bit empty without you, Aquarius. Burned out, yeah. You walked away, and you walked away, Chris, because you were disappointed. It could be a Pisces. You were disappointed in this person. But somebody here could be waiting on you, Aquarius. What's the Eight of Cups? Seeing Aquarius move on really hurts. November 12th on a Tuesday. Yeah, even if you walked away, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they still want to come towards you. You still got a place in this person's heart. Could be a Libra as well. November 12th on a Tuesday. Seeing Aquarius move on really hurts. Yep, that's you. I'm telling y'all, y'all do y'all always big one, Aquarius. Y'all always popping out. That's y'all card. Y'all know it. If you've been in here long enough, you know that Empress card. Yeah, so you being the Empress in this person's eyes, Aquarius, that nurturing, that love, that some of you, this could be, you could be this person's baby mama, baby daddy, but that type of love, it hit different. That Aquarius love hits different, and you do for sure, Aquarius. <clears throat> you are growing. You are evolving, okay? You're doing you, and I feel like this somebody here who I feel like you maybe will always be wifey or hubby or somebody that will want to make the, have the have children with. What's the Empress? Seeing Aquarius move on really hurts. November 12th on a Tuesday. The Empress. Yeah, now they could be an Aries, a Sagittarius. Now they want to come in here and take some type of control towards you, Aquarius. Because somebody here envisions a future with you. Like They're like, it's Aquarius. I can try to run from this shit. I can try to be with somebody else. I can do whatever. But it's still you are the one they end up thinking about all the time, Aquarius. You got for some of you, Chris. You got somebody here who's very career focused right now. They see a bigger picture. Okay, they could be an entrepreneur, a leader. They want to come here very mature. They somebody here is changing up something when it comes to you, Chris. Okay, you are giving off very empress files, yeah. And this has been a painful ending since you have closed this chapter or closed the door or let this person go. Now somebody's ready to express their true feelings for you. Okay, November thirteenth on a Wednesday. Karma is eating their ass up, Aquarius. I think it's a little bit wet over there still. So your person's going through some karma right now. And it is tearing their ass up. Do you hear me? This karma ain't nothing to play with. 
November 13th on the Wednesday. Aquarius, this person's karma is eating their ass up. Yep, but see, this person is hopeful that they can get up out of this some type of karma that they're enduring. But yeah, it's, it's here. The karma, the karma could be going on literally right now. Could be in another relationship that they're in. Karma is in Aquarius, this person's ass up. Yep, it's making a person slow down. Whatever they were doing, they're about to be, the karma that, that they're about to get is going to inspire them to do something different. What what karma is this? What is this karma? Yeah, some of you, this karma is making them want to get better on their feet, do better as a man or a woman, okay? Have a better career. But yeah, right now they're suffering in silence. They feel like they're hitting their head against the wall, okay? Somebody here feels like, you know, because I feel like they feel they're missing out on a good romantic relationship. You are this person's soulmate, Aquarius, and you set boundaries, and now they feel stuck, okay? They feel stuck. They, they don't know what to do. For some of you, they're taking out time to really figure out what it is that they need to do for themselves. November 13th on a Wednesday. Karma is in Aquarius' ass, person's ass up. Karma is in the person up. Yeah, it could be with a third-party situation. Okay, yeah, and it's nothing but fight, Spirit said. If they were the third party and got with somebody else, Spirit said they are doing nothing but fighting. Nothing but fights. For, for some of you, they're fighting over you, fighting over the person that they love and really want to be with. What's the three of cups? Karma is in a person's person ass up. Yep. Trying to find some peace, some, some, some balance, some harmony in all this. What karma is a person's person getting right now? I'm telling you, whatever this karma is, it's making them want to change their ways. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's making them want to be better. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse. Some of you that don't want to be a player anymore, they're tired of being angry. Some of you, this person keeps getting themselves into in the dumb shit. Knight of Wands in reverse. Karma is getting the this person's ass up. Yeah, and whatever this, yeah, some of you, it's the money situation. They're probably not making enough money or making a little bit to get by. And maybe they don't want to live like that no more. So they have, could be having sleepless nights about money. Some of you, I'm hearing that they, they got something going on in their private area right there. And they're realizing, I got to change up my life. I got to do something different. Okay. But this person is suffering in silence because they are missing you. You've set boundaries. And now life looks a little bit different without you. Maybe you're not there all the time. You're not trying to make it work. You're not trying to move forward. You're just done. Okay? November 14th on a Thursday. Hoping that you'll break no contact. So Aquarius, this is telling me that this person may try to come towards you and take an offer. Okay? They're going to come towards you earlier this week. And I feel like they're going to try to make some type of like, take some type of action towards you. Do something for you. Try to go off their way. To try to show you, like, I am the man for you, Aquarius. I, 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 or the woman for you, Aquarius. I will change. I can be right. And they're hoping that you'll break this no contact after them taking some type of action to come towards you this week. All right? November 14th on a Thursday. Hoping that Aquarius will break no contact. Hoping that Aquarius will break no contact. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to show you that they are secure. Somebody, something about a car... Maybe they might pull up in a different new, pull up in a new car. Okay, like somebody just went to a car dealership. But whatever action they're taking, they're hoping that you'll break the no contact because they're, right now they're stressed out. They're worried that they've lost you. Okay, somebody, this person could have had like a love affair going on at one point in time, but I feel like they want to come and prove to you, like, look, I am better. I've, I've let that situation go. Right now they're worried. Yeah, somebody's in a lot of regret for not thinking with their head, but thinking with their their other head. Okay, I feel like you was only trying to love this person and support them, try to put them on to new things, new ways to get money, new ways to do this, new ways to do that. November four, excuse me, November fourteenth on the Thursday, hoping that Aquarius breaks no contact. Could be a Leo. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge though. Some of you, Aquarius, they feel like they're in competition with somebody else. What's the Seven of Wands? Hoping that Aquarius will break no contact November 14th on a Thursday. Yeah, because, see, they don't know what you got going on. And that's very worrisome for this person. Some of you, some of you this person could have thought the grass was greener on the other side. But you set boundaries with this person. And all they're doing is thinking, well, she could be a Libra. They're thinking about how to work towards this connection. Because I'm telling you, all they do is stay in their head about you. 
Think about you all the time. Wonder what you're doing, if you're okay. What's the moon? Hoping that Aquarius will break no contact. The moon. Yeah, there's somebody here who I feel like it's been a painful ending since you went your own way. And now that will is changing. And the will that's changing is that they're sitting in some type of burning some energy, going through these tower moments. Shit is hitting the fan. Yeah, because they've been sneaky. Some of you, this person could have stole something that they've done. It's, it's eating them up. Possibly part of what they've done to you, but also everything else they've been giving out. Whether it, How they've been treating family, friends, this one, that one. That karma's coming back on them. For sure. Okay, this may not be a good holiday season for your person is what I'm hearing. They may be trying to be going around looking for somebody to love them, take care of them, buy them things, make them feel like something. But they, they don't possibly burn that bridge with just about everybody. And ain't nobody fucking with them. All right, last but not least, November 15th on a Friday. Look, told you, somebody is always talking about you, Aquarius. You're always the topic, okay? There are these people, like this part, uh, your person's people bringing you up, karmic's bringing you up, whatever the case may be, you are always the topic of the conversation, yeah. Because somebody is paranoid and they don't know what to do without you, Aquarius. I'm telling you, they do not know what to do. November 15th on a Friday. Aquarius is always the topic. Yep, it's from your masculine. So if your person is a masculine male energy, it's from them. This person always talking about you. Because some of you, they want to take authority towards you, take action. For, for some of you, it could be an Aries. But as you, they see like y'all having a family, starting your own traditions. And right now, they're just in their feelings. Masculine energy. This is Aquarius's person. I'm sorry. Aquarius is always a topic of the conversation. Aquarius is always a topic, November 15th on a Friday, from this masculine energy. Aquarius is always a topic from this masculine energy. Yeah, because somebody here is realizing they're not having fun without you. Yep, all they're doing is daydreaming about you. Somebody here, why is Aquarius always a topic, November 15th on a Friday? Why is Aquarius always a topic? Yeah, because somebody here feels like they want to get away with you. They're trying to do something nice for you. They want to have fun. Yeah, they feel hopeless. Some of you, you're taking vacations. You're doing you. Why is Aquarius always a topic from this masculine energy? Because there's somebody here who cheated on you. They, they mess up a good thing. Two-Face, a two-face double life cheater. Okay, that backstabs you. Now they're sitting in this broken ass energy. Because why would they why would you screw over the Aquarius? Heavy masculine energy here. Aquarius. Now this person could be dealing with some type of legal issues. Could be dealing with a whole psychopath, karmic, okay, who don't know how to let go, who don't know how to move on. Could be giving your person being extra and, and, and doing too much. Way too much. So let's see. November 15th on a Friday. Aquarius is always a topic. Because things have changed, Aquarius. As this person is going through ups and downs, the unpredictable stuff has happened to this person. Karma is eating them up. They're talking about you. What's the will of fortune? Aquarius is always a topic. November 15th on a Friday. Yeah. Those sneaky ways caught up to this person. Now this person feels like you being sneaky. You got something going on. What's the seven of swords? Yeah, because you're not talking to them. So like I said, you're not talking to them. They're somewhere sitting, thinking the worst about you, Aquarius. That is a burden because they don't know what you got going on. They feel like you done moved away or moved to have a new beginning in love with somebody else for all they know. And that's all they think about. What What is Aquarius doing? How can I get back to Aquarius and make Aquarius happy? What is this masculine energy talking about when they talk about Aquarius? What do they talk about when they talk about Aquarius? How they missed an opportunity here with you. It could be a cancer. How you really love them and support them. You are very nurturing. What is this person, this masculine energy, talking about when they talk about the Aquarius spirit? They tell about how they want to heal things and, and, and have some type of conversation with you. Get some mental clarity on where y'all stand. Because this person hasn't let you go yet, Aquarius. Could be another Aquarius or a um, Aquarius Gemini Libra. What's the Ace of Swords? What do they want clarity on when it comes to Aquarius? 
I'm telling you, they want to know if, if you're happy without them. Or for some of you, this is telling me they want to if you're in a relationship, if you're happy, okay? Could be a Pisces, Taurus energy. Yeah, they want to know if you don't, if maybe if you want to give them another chance, start off with the Two of Cups energy, have a new beginning. But mainly, I feel like it's, they're trying to figure out if you got somebody else. That's what it is. They're trying to see if you got somebody else, Aquarius. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Hate being at odds with you. Dark energy is following them. Stays locked up. An apology coming soon. So some of you, your person may end up going to jail soon. We also got that at the bottom of this deck. Lawyers, court paperwork. So don't be surprised if you find out your person goes to jail this, this week or, or by the end of November. Because it's going to happen. All right. So that's what I have for y'all, Aquarius. Thank y'all so much for tuning into the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Peace.